Hello everyone. So in this uh, video lecture, we will talk about uh, optimization by using SP Plus. So what we will do, we will do three different process, uh, three different steps uh, in this optimization process. We will do the flow sheeting, a very simple flow sheeting using SP Plus. Then we will uh, do the optimization and then we will have a constraint optimization. So there are two different types of optimization we will talk about in this video. So let's first do the simple flow sheeting and before we will go for optimization we will need to uh, build our flow sheet. So this is the flow sheet that we are going to build. This is a very simple flow sheet which, uh, which we have is ethanol and carbon dioxide which is entering uh, at a 25 degrees Celsius and 100 bar pressure to this flash column which separates carbon dioxide from the top uh, and it also separates that ethanol from the bottom. So this is the simple flow sheet that we are going to uh, simulate using S1 Plus. So let's jump on to S1 Plus and try to simulate this simple flow sheet. So the components that we have is carbon dioxide and ethanol and the fluid package that we are using this time is Unifrac so if you just scroll down you can find the Unifrac then click next and go to your simulation environment what where we just simply add our flash column so we have a feed we have a top product and a bottom product. Let's rename those. So this is our ethanol and carbon dioxide mixture which is entering. And separating carbon dioxide on the top and the ethanol on the bottom. Let's ally them. So next, uh, let's click next. We need we have our ethanol and the carbon dioxide mixture which is entering at 25 degrees Celsius with a pressure of uh, 100 bar, and we have uh, our mass flow rate which is entering at 100 kg per hour with the composition of mass fraction which is an equimolar composition 50-50% okay after entering this information we click on the next and in the column we will put 25 degrees celsius and for the start we will use one bar so the pressure that is reduced from 100 bar to one bar inside the column and the separation is going to be happening at these conditions. <coughs> Click next and let's run the simulation. So after running the simulation there will be no warnings, no error. So we have a very simple uh, flow sheet which is already being simulated. Now the next thing we, did, we need to do is when you talk about uh, optimization and what we are trying to optimize in this process is we are trying to optimize the pressure by increasing the or maximizing the profit and the profit equation that we are using in this lecture is uh, this one which is five times the carbon dioxide plus 30 times the ethanol this will give us the profit the overall profit and what we are varying basically the pressure we are trying to optimize the pressure so that we will get a maximum profit as possible. For this purpose, we need to go to model analysis. And in the model analysis, we need to go to the optimization process. We need to add optimi optimization ID. And this optimization ID, what we are trying to vary, uh, what we want to see mostly basically, we are want to see how my carbon dioxide is being reduced, uh, between separated from the top of the column. Similarly, how much ethanol that we are separating in the flash column, and what we are maximizing, what we are increasing is pressure. So let's try to the units. So that's why I told the variables. First variable that we have is carbon dioxide, and this is our stream variable. 
it should be and mass uh, flow rate and carbon dioxide and the component that we have is carbon dioxide the second variable we have is ethanol which is also a stream variable and it should be it should also be uh, mass flow rate and ethanol is the component and that component that we need to add and the third one is the pressure and that pressure is the block variable it should be a block variable the block b1 and should be uh, the variable name is press and the sentence is pump uh, p-a-r-a-m and the unit is bar the objective constraints what we are trying to do we are trying to maximize our profit and the question that we are going to write is new and <coughs> we want to increase the pressure so this is a block variable again v1 and pressure so the lowest value of pressure we start from one bar we go up to 80 bar and we need to write down because we put profit as a objective and constraint we want to maximize the profit but we need to put the we need to key in the equation for the profit as well so we need to go to the fourth on tab and here we need to write profit is equal to according to my question five times the carbon dioxide so five multiply by the variable name we need to put carbon dioxide here similarly adding this to 30 times the ethanol so after adding this information we are facing some problems with the yes so after after keying and all the information we need to click next press ok so no warnings no errors we need to go to the result tab and see that we have uh, the pressure that we will be vary and the optimized pressure is 3.25725 bar with this much pressure inside the column we are producing a profit of 1683.46649 so in this way what we are trying to do we are trying to increase the pressure try to optimize the pressure so that we will have a maximum profit which will shows here so after this now we need to jump on to the last part of this video which is constraint optimization and the constraint optimization again we are trying to uh, keep the pressure higher try to make the pressure greater or equal to 4 bar this is our specification and then we will see uh, that by by keying this constraint variable which is the pressure what is the effect uh, on the profit so again we need to go to the model analysis tool but this time we need to go to the constraint tool we need to add a constraint the constraint that we have is, is by default is the constraint id is c-1 again we need to click on the new and here we need to focus on pressure pressure is our uh, block variable again as a block variable the block is b1 and it is uh, press so this is the press one then in the specs window we have the pressure which we are trying to uh, optimize and what we are going to uh, do in the specification we are using the greater or equal constraint for the pressure and we will we need to put uh, the value of pressure 4 what we are looking for is the pressure greater or equal to 4 
the tolerance that we are going to enter here is 0 0.001 so after putting this information we need to jump to our optimization tab as uh, as a uh, 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 inside objective and constraint we need to click on our uh, constraint that we have created here we need to enter that constraint here then we can click on next and click on ok so hopefully uh, there will be no errors and when you go to the result tab you can clearly see here uh, we would we will put the value of uh, four uh, bar here but the optimized value operation is again 3.25729 so this is the result so in both cases uh, our optimized pressure is 3.25729 so this is uh, this will show you how you can use the constraint train uh, variable uh, to optimize your your system and in, and also you can use uh, the formula which is obviously in this case we use the profit formula to maximize our profit okay so hope you understand today's uh, video so uh, thank you very much and bye